So here I was thinking I had my RDLs, I mean my Romanian deadlifts, down to a science. I'm a strength coach. I've been lifting for years. Surely I'm above making basics form mistakes, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. Welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So as I was editing this video, I thought, wow, this looks great. Until I noticed <laughs> one tiny problem. I was bending my knees like I was trying to squat with the bar, not doing an RDL. In that moment, it hit me. I had been doing it wrong. Not just wrong, very wrong. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the Romanian deadlift isn't just a fancy name for a deadlift where you move like Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> it's all about building strength in the hamstrings, glutes and lower back by keeping that knee bend minimal. The goal is to keep tension in those muscles, not turn it into a half a squat or even proper deadlift. But what was I doing? Oh, just bending my knees so much that the bar almost reached my mid shin. Basically turning an RDL into a deadlift with an identity crisis. Classic rookie mistake. And I'm supposed to be the strength coach here. Here's the thing, guys. We all make mistakes. Even coaches, seasoned lifters. I guess that's the fun part of strength training. Always finding new ways to humble yourself. I mean, just because you teach this stuff doesn't mean you're immune to turning into a complete Mickey, as my uncle would say. And that's where recording your lifts comes in. You think you've got perfect form until you see yourself on camera and suddenly it's like, who is this ugly guy? Am I auditioning for Cirque de Soleil or am I actually lifting? Look at that knee bend. Look at the bar path. What was I thinking? But here's the truth. Filming your lifts is one of the best ways to improve. It doesn't lie. It doesn't sugarcoat. It just says, Hey buddy, remember how you thought you nailed it? Mm, yeah, not so much. And that's okay. The sooner you spot your mistakes, the sooner you fix them. We are here for progress not perfection, right? Okay, let me redeem myself here. The proper RDL involves only a slight bend in the knees, just enough to unlock them, keeping the tension in your hamstring and glutes. The bar stays close to your body and you lower it to about knee height, not mid shin, unless you're trying to make a new lifting hybrid which spoiler alert you are not let's take another look at this masterpiece shall we it's it's like my knees were having a whole different conversation with the bar oh we're supposed to be part of the lift right let's bend down further yeah yeah no and here's why this matters the rdl is all about isometric tension creating that deep burn in your hamstrings, glutes, and especially your lower back. Trust me, your lower back will let you know if you're doing it right. Done properly, it'll feel like your lower back just lit up like a Christmas tree, but in a good way. But bending your knees too much, well, you are basically saying, thanks hamstrings, but we are not going to let you do your job today. And that's how you lose out on the benefit of RDL. So what did I learn? First, even as a coach, I'm human. I make mistakes. The important thing is to own those mistakes, analyze them and fix them. It's not about pretending you're perfect. It's about always improving. Second, record yourself is key. Recording yourself is a key. If you're serious about getting stronger and refining your technique, get the camera rolling. If I hadn't filmed myself, 
I would have kept bending my knees like a toddler <laughs> learning how to pick up a toy off the floor. No shame in that, except maybe a little. After all, not all of us can afford a strength coach to look after us in a form all the time. This is what no-nonsense tra training is all about. We are not here to look perfect one day or on the day one. We are here to be real, to make mistakes and to get stronger by fixing them. You don't get stronger by pretending you're always right. You get stronger by identifying your weaknesses and working on them. So in conclusion, record your lifts, laugh at yourself, own your mistakes and get back on the bar. And hey, if your knees decide to bend a little too much next time, just remember, at least you're not alone. Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe for more no-nonsense mistake-filled strength training because let's face it, we all make them. See you next time. You're <laughs>